The 41-year-old One Tree Hill actress filed for divorce from the 41-year-old researcher on Friday, according to People. A source told the publication, Sophia and Grant were friends for 10 years and bonded during COVID through their love of community service. They continue to run their nonprofit together and remain good friends. The two are founders of the Bush Hughes Foundation for Progress which was established to support organizations and individuals working for equity, social justice, and progress in the city of Tulsa, according to the nonprofit's website. The two have a great connection to the city as they were married in the Oklahoma City in June 2022. The split news comes just seven weeks after Sophia had celebrated their wedding anniversary with a now-deleted Instagram post. People reported that she had posted a black and white throwback photo from their wedding day with the caption, Today marks 365 days of calling you husband. Best decision of my life. It still feels just like this. Ecstatic. Running toward the future grinning and laughing. Together, I love you, my favorite. Happy anniversary white heart emoji. Meanwhile, on June 11th, Grant also took to Instagram to share a sweet tribute which is still up, also featuring them on their wedding day. He posted a lengthy caption which read, What a full, beautiful, dynamic, exciting, growth-filled year we've had together. I truly love doing life with you. He also shared that had given her a card the morning of their one-year anniversary which read, There are 7 billion people on this planet. You are my favorite. Their wedding ceremony took place on June 11, 2022, as it was attended by multiple celebrity friends of the couple. The Tulsa County Court clerk told the Us Weekly at the time that the duo obtained a marriage license on June 8 and returned it on June 11. The nuptials took place at Philbrook Museum of Art which was built in 1927 and is surrounded by more than two dozen acres of greenery. A source told us that the reception was enjoyed at the church studio. The guest list included the likes of Colton Underwood, Aaron Paul, and Bush's One Tree Hill coster Hilary Burton. Sophia revealed she became engaged to her businessman boyfriend while on vacation in Lake Como in August 2021. So it turns out that being your favorite person's favorite person is the actual best feeling on planet Earth yes. She said in her Instagram caption, as she shared an image, Thank you to Comma Classic Boats and B-O-T-T-E-G-A-53 for helping my favorite human plan the most incredible, moving surprise of my life. My heart, it bursts she added. The next day she was seen posing in a summer outfit while in Italy. Turns out this whole being engaged thing is really, really fun, Bush said in her caption. The couple had been dating for a year and the Hitcher actress who was married to Chad Michael Murray from 2005 until 2006 around the time she admitted she'd be sure about the motivations behind tying the knot again before agreeing to it. Speaking on the Inside of You podcast, she said, I think it depends on what people's motivations are, and I want to make sure, whether it's myself or one of my best friends, that we're clear on what it is we're signing up for. Rather than thinking we're getting some Kate Hudson and Matt McConaughey rom-com life. This notion that you're going to meet your person, and they're going to make you so happy that you're going to be fulfilled, and you'll never be nervous again, and you'll never ever think anyone else is hot like what? It's such an absurd joke. And when it comes to her relationship, Sophia thinks radical honesty is vital. When asked about Murray by Michael Rosenbaum, Bush immediately replied, Oh, I'm not going to talk about him. I'm not allowed to. I've tried to poke fun at being a dumb kid, and whenever I've done that, it gets twisted into I'm talking shit about somebody who I don't even know anymore, who's clearly a grown-up, she explained. I think you have to. Like, laugh at who you used to be, she continued. But when people ask me about history that involves someone else, it's not worth my time. It's not a place where I harbor ill will.